past 12 years, PwC's strategic consulting business, Strategy AND, has been undertaking an R&D study of the world's largest thousand publicly listed corporate entities and their R&D spend. I'm here today with Rich Parkin and Mark Cooty, partners at Strategy AND, to talk through the findings of the study. Mark, what are the headlines? The emerging theme from this year's study is that uh, software is on the up. Uh, we're seeing that companies that have uh, invested traditionally in, in hardware are, are moving more towards software investment. And whilst on its own right, that's not necessarily new news, the interesting part is that companies that do allocate more of their R&D budget towards software are finding their revenue growth is faster than those that don't. So the average R&D spend on software and services over the past five years, 2010 to 2015, has grown from 54% to 59% and is now worldwide worth 400 billion. We predict that by 2020, this will go as, as high as 63%. So Rich, how do you expect automotive companies to keep up with this investment? R&D is the lifeblood of automotive. It's the third biggest sector that we see uh, after electronics and computing pharmaceuticals. Between those three, they're almost two-thirds of all of the R&D spending across all the industries. But as Mark said, there's also a set of, of very specific things going on in automotive which are transforming the mix of that spend. So in a sense, some of that computing spend might well be also on automotive because what's going on in automotive is we're shifting towards everything that is supporting what we'd call the connected car. Right, so all things around autonomous drive, around communication with the vehicle, telematics, so a whole set of developments which are supporting that innovation in, in that type of a vehicle. And that's, at the same time, it, it began in the premium segment, but it's moving down into the mass market now so that all customers are expecting their car to be connected, to be internet enabled, to have the services which go along with that. If you think just, just simply about you know, autonomous drive, what will happen when we don't have a steering wheel, when we have a whole different set of controls on the car, we have different types of surfaces, we're going on a long drive and we turn around and we're at a table with our family as we move along. Now, this therefore has implications for how our clients are going to spend their money, the different talents they're going to need to do this, and even where they're going to spend it, so where the R&D footprint might be in the future. The rate of change is phenomenal. What are automotive companies doing to keep up? They're looking across sector and within sector to really understand how to keep agile. I think interestingly, um, you know, across sector, 71% of companies that, are, that made acquisitions in the past five years did so to gain software capability advantage. Uh, and in the automotive industry, this is moving significantly. Traditionally, you know, Electrical engineers have been the biggest engineering pool in, in R&D and our study predicts by 2020 that will be 35% lower and our hypothesis is that this, this group will be replaced by software and data engineers. So what are the innovation models? So many automotive companies have set up R&D facilities around the globe centred around innovation hubs such as Silicon Valley to really raise the bar on their innovation capability. Now we still see three basic types of innovation model that, uh, that companies, and particularly auto companies, are following. Um, that's need seekers, so companies who are, are driving the need in the market. Uh, market readers, those that are following the market and reacting to market needs. And technology drivers, those who rely on their technology to drive innovation. And they do this to, to really set their strategy to be agile for this ever-changing world in, in R&D. The message from this year's study is that all industries, automotive included, are focused and doubling down on their investment on R&D in software. They're being more agile, more innovative, doing more testing. And that's for good reason. Our study shows that businesses that are spending their money on software are seeing 25% more growth than their competitors. And that's a statistic that can't be ignored.